Let's look at the film. In today's episode, we're looking at Daryl Worley. He's six foot one, two hundred and fifteen pounds, and he can be one of those guys that can play down at safety as well as cornerback. This defensive back here, he flies out to the ball. He's physical. Now he's not the fastest guy in the world, but I think that they picked up him for positional flex, meaning that he can play at safety and as well as cornerback. Now, when we think about the Dallas Cowboys in general, yes, they need help at safety play. Yes, we need to figure out the solution aspect of the cornerback. We got a big void at both spots. We did draft Trayvon Diggs, and we also will move probably Cheeto Wuzier inside at safety. Nevertheless, leave no stone unturned. On this particular play, as you look back at everything, uh, of course, I would like better safety play from Worley. Uh, I think that his hips and his speed is not all the way the fastest in the world. Also with that, if you pay attention to this slot corner here, I need for him to get a little bit more rub action off of this release. This is pretty much a free release. I cannot stand if an actual player allows this to happen this is no chuck this is no aggressive move right here and i wish that Worley would have saw the trips to the right and move and slide more so to that particular side of the field but neither here nor there his reaction was a little late and allowed this play to occur let's look back at it again i just wish hey he saw that look baby chuck move right there you got to put a little bit more on it and that's what happened off of that particular play i think that Worley is still a physical guy i think that Worley will fit well in this particular system remember you can't just look at the individual player as it relates to them being by themselves it's all about can they actually pick up the system that the coaches provide and maybe in a different scheme we see something different i do like the physicality of this particular play as we look at Worley against the tight end we need somebody that can be up front close on the line of the los and we can see this right here this whirly versus the tight end remember size matter in the nfl you have to be able to jam redirect throw the person off of their route and i believe he did a great job on this particular play as we look through it give him a little physical contact got his hands inside the tight end was good enough to release from there and he still caught the ball but it's for a minimum yard. So I like that aspect of Worley's game. Now, transitioning, open up your hips. I think that Worley did a great job of keeping up with number 17, switched around, and was able to stop the tight end from progressing a little further down the field. Now, you can argue and say, well, could they put a cornerback on this, this crazy tight end number 87? We just got to look at this play as it relates to that linebacker responsibility to trail and carry him upfield and that's just mismatch all day <laughs> and the world it comes in to make that safe tackle there if you look back at this film why oh why raiders why raiders if i'm playing against this guy number 87 i'm making sure that i'm putting either a slot corner or a true rangy safety on this guy none of my linebackers <laughs> none of them watch the switch off it's just not there good enough Hey, this is supposed to be the switch off, but look look how he at the top of his route. Pat Mahomes, this is going to be a good pass to him. And I watch how Worley, he switches off. He trailed this guy hip to hip, switches off, and makes the necessary tackle. I, I, I love it. I just hate the defense there, but good pass, good catch by number 87. So that just goes to show you that I can only imagine – if my Cowboys can utilize Jarwin in the same fashion, send him up the field vertically, stretch this thing out, exploit the mismatches. But shout out to Worley for stopping that touchdown. 59 just couldn't keep up with good old, good old Travis there. Um, here's another play right here. Uh, this is Worley at the bottom, and he's physical. Remember, the boundary should be your friend. Remember this. Use the boundary, the sideline, as your friend as a corner. He's six foot one. 215 pounds Galladay is physical as well nevertheless you got an extra partner over here the boundary so you got to give some type of an aggressive tone or some type of redirect and watch what happened off of this play give him some love right here squeeze him up to the sideline use those hips and he actually picked the ball off <laughs> I love it got the ball in his hand fighting for the position of the ball remember 
they will allow you to be aggressive at the top of your route and i love every bit of it shout out to my guy Worley on this particular play being aggressive setting the tone and also stopping the opposition from putting six points on the board look <laughs> squeezes the ball catches the ball i love every bit of it as we look back at it again stafford scans the field scans the field look for his primary receiver goes there and Worley of the worlds is there <laughs> good snag man and it, what that does it brings everybody crunk it makes everybody hyped and this is another play against pat mahomes i i love the fact that Worley is at the bottom of the screen i love the fact that the aggressive tone the aggressive nature of everything this will be a actual fumble that Worley picks up but i, I love the fact that he plays through the echoes of the whistle get aggressive with him get their hands in there still fight towards the ball huh get there Pick the ball up. <laughs> Turnovers on down. And it, it just creates that type of energy out there. Everybody's excited when you get turnovers and takeaways. I love it. I love it. I love it. So being around the ball is what you need to do, and that's what you need to exhibit and exude out there, especially turnovers and takeaways. Look how everybody's excited. We love to see that. We flat out love to see it. And on this play right here, I love it because here's the thing. Being around the ball, everybody know turnovers in red zone is crucial. They are very crucial. And being able to put your hand on the ball, getting the ball back to the offense, it's the name of the game. And he just at the right place at the right time. How many times last year and beyond we've seen whereas there was time and situations and opportunities where we could have caught the interception or, or pick up a fumble and the guy just aloof to the situation that the ball is there. I love it when players are able to find the ball, track the ball, and get the ball. This is the interception on uh, Aaron Rodgers' throw. Watch how he's able to, to scan the field, look back for the ball. ball was poorly on the throne, and he's still able to pick it up. There's so many times last year or years previously Whereas the ball is just right there. All you have to do is turn your head around and your body will follow. And he's able to pick this ball off. That is cognitive of your surrounding. And watch how everybody else is just happy about it. I love it. I love it. And, of course, the pressure was there. Let me see who we can see to get off on that line. Hmm. Let's see we got. Is that McCoy? Yes, that's McCoy. Let's see what McCoy can do. <laughs> McCoy and Poe. Oh, they get home. And. Aaron Rodgers, he throws a pick, and Worley is there. I love it. Creating pressure from the interior, creating pressure is what the name of the game is. I think this is another pressure play from the boys from the inside. Cow hit him, and Worley is there. Turn his head around, knowing that the pressure is there. You can play at a high, high level when you know for sure that your front four will get home. I love it. Let's rewind. Let's watch this play again. You can play at that high level because you know for sure I'm creating pressure. This is Dontari Poe. Mm, put the crack on him. <laughs> and he's able to come down with the ball. I love this pick. I think that this will create competition within competition. And everybody knows that steel sharpens steel, iron sharpens iron. And when you look at the confines of this particular team, we will say the front four is better. It will create better play for the defensive backs in general. That's been my time. I really, really thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this content, and figure this thing out. Figure this thing out, what the Cowboys are doing with this situation. They got a guy that can see the ball, get the ball, and I love it. I love it. Let me know how you guys feel of Worley. Let me know. <laughs> Hey, the off season is long. We know that for sure. But we just got to take this thing one day at a time, one movement at a time, and we got a person that's now going to give high competition for those that's out there. Six foot one, 215 pounds. Let's get down. That's been my time. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the bass. Let's go. Let's talk about this Law Nation TV groove. I'm telling you all, this is the beginning my own network i have full control of the content that's uploaded here and on top of that think about when the season come around access to the games my 
overview of the games, my insight of the games, without, you know, content being taken down and these sort of things. It's free 99. Just check out my Roku channel, LAW Nation TV. Give it a rating. Go to your Roku devices. Upload that information for the nation. Let's continue to grind one day at a time, one movement at a time, brick by brick. We stack these things together, and then we can look back and say, man, I was there when you first started your own network. And it can all be done by the strength of you all. And Amazon reached out to me as well. So I look at it like this. The more the merrier. I think that Amazon was probably looking at it like, hey, I want some of this work action too. So check me out on Amazon at Law Nation TV Amazon. It was always going to be Fire Stick TV. So I will be there. I really appreciate each and every last one of you all. Thank everybody for helping me and supporting the nation. One day at a time, one movement at a time, brick by brick. And we continue to stack these things together. Boy, oh boy. You got to grind to shine. And we grind it. Support the nation. And let's continue to find a way. That's all we need. Just continue to find those ways. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go. Let's go. Salute.